Hi, everybody. I'm Adam Barlow Thompson, one of the co-founders of the Neighboring Movement, and I'm here to introduce you to Ellen Bertels. Ellen, welcome. Hi, thank you, Adam. Yeah, so Ellen, tell us who you are. My name's Ellen Bertels. I use she, her pronouns, and I, in my, you know, day-to-day nine-to-five, I am the founder and the attorney running the Kansas Name Change Project. Um, do you mind, can I just sort of walk you through what that is, Adam? I mean, I would love to hear about what that is, yeah. Perfect. So the Kansas Name Change Project is a project at Kansas Legal Services where I provide free legal representation to low and moderate income uh, transgender Kansans who are seeking name changes, seeking ID corrections. We also, when other things pop up, do those as well, like advanced directives, wills, expungements, emancipations, Mm. uh, a little bit of everything comes my way. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, you're like the queer legal team for the state of Kansas. Yes. Just you. Oh, there's not much of a team. It's because, is it just you? Yeah, it's just me. I mean, I've got amazing staff and I've got other attorneys in my office who help inform my work. But yeah, in terms of showing up to the courtroom, it's just me. Yeah. And so, and this is something that you initiated while you were at law school. Um, Yes. So tell us kind of a little bit of that backstory. Sure. So in 2019, I uh, was in my first summer out of law school and a decision came down from the the federal court in Kansas City that said, essentially, while in the past, trans Kansans were unable to change the gender marker on their birth certificates, Um, that was, that policy was declared unconstitutional and the state created a new pathway for folks to correct their birth certificates. So I heard about this. I, you know, met up with a friend. They had also heard about it. And we had this sort of moment of saying, there's a huge unmet legal need, not only to explain what that process looks like on birth certificates, but also to provide people with representation through the name change process, which is, I mean, it's an easy legal process. But there's just a lot of details. There's a lot of stuff going on. And to do it without a lawyer, to have to go to the courthouse by yourself, especially as a member of an underserved community that, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe doesn't have a lot of experience in the courthouse, that's terrifying. For sure. So we set up a clinic at KU that provides name changes to folks. uh, And then I was really, really lucky to get a grant that allows me to take that work statewide for two years. Yeah, yeah. I think that is amazing that because I mean I just need, I just think about like when I need to go like to the DMV or something and I'm like constantly going I'm sure I'm going to screw this up. I'm sure I don't have everything I need. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so intimidating and that's a thing that is normal that everybody has to do what you're what you're it's so niche what you're doing. I can't imagine the people who are in that place the barriers that they they must experience and so I know that this week I've just seen you putting out on social media you've just got some new stuff coming out you want to tell us about that yeah absolutely so I think you're absolutely right those those barriers are really the main issue here and it's not just you know imagine going to DMV to um, update your license get that like real ID whatever situation Mm -hmm. imagine doing that but imagine doing it for every single document ever created in your name oh god yeah it's I'm sweating right now that is <laughs> terrible i hate that idea yeah so it's a lot of work and and part of what i wanted to do um and on top of the caseload that i have is publish some documents that help folks even make it like 10 percent easier right so mm-hmm. kansas legal services just published on their website um guides, sort of like packets to walk you through the name and gen- name and gender marker change process on mm. Kansas driver's licenses, um, on social security documents, on birth certificates, both for adults and for minors, because it's a different process. Um, I'm trying to think what else have we done. We also have a packet for, because you can do a name change yourself without an attorney. It's, it's very possible. Right. Um, some people who tried to do it for their kids for minors have faced some pushback from Mm -hmm. courts in Kansas historically. So we also have a guide for how to do a minor name change by yourself and then a sort of know your rights. So if you're in a position where you're at the courthouse Mm -hmm. and you're hearing things that don't line up with what you think should be happening, right? uh, it's a guide to sort of uh, 
advocate for yourself in that situation. Yes, that is so helpful that that's just out there and free and available. And we'll have that linked uh, if you're watching this video. Be sure to check that out. Um, this is all this is all amazing stuff. Um, so uh, it is Pride Month. That's partially why we're hi highlighting this stuff. So I'm curious, just uh, this is a little bit of a shift of gear from what you're doing to like, what's Pride Month for you? Like, what does that look like for you? Does it mean anything? Or you pay attention to it? it do you care what's going on? How's that sit with you? Yeah, absolutely. I care so much what's going on. Um, Pride <laughs> Month is such a lovely time of year. I was born in June. June hey is my favorite month. Hey oh, <laughs> June is my favorite month in Kansas because the weather is so lovely and the flowers are blooming. And I think to have that beauty and that abundance and that luxury of spirit uh, at the same time that we're experiencing luxury of spirit and, and abundance in community with other LGBTQ folks, um, it's it's so important to me to have community. Mm. It's so important to me to be able to celebrate and also to be able to push back against some of the norms of pink capitalism and mm. to be able to say um like sure target's got you know <laughs> rainbow placemats now yeah um, and that's fine but we're gonna gather right that's that's yeah. not our priority we're yeah. gonna gather and it's yeah it's it's a great time of year yeah well Ellen, you are such a joyful person doing such awesome work. Um, I'm so grateful that we get to highlight it and uh, we will have links and uh, stuff for you for folks watching this to get to your services. Is there any just like other like legal or otherwise words of wisdom that you'd want to offer before we go? I mean, there's a couple of things that are coming to mind that I probably shouldn't say. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get us in trouble on our neighboring movement social media here. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, I'm trying not to hey, get you into any trouble. Fight the power, Ellen. Let's go. I mean, don't talk to cops. I don't. That's that's not legal <laughs> advice. I'm not your attorney, but don't do it. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, also, you know. I, I hope that the legal community can make leaps and bounds in the coming years to do better work for LGBTQ folks. Yeah. Um, but if you are a queer Kansan and trans Kansan and you want to chat with someone about the law and you need referrals, mm -hmm. please feel free to talk to me. Um, yeah, and yeah. It, it probably goes without saying for people who are already in the queer community that not all lawyers are going to have a good understanding of your reality. Yes, so. yes. And so many people have such good hearts and intentions, but there's a lot of kind of details to work out. And you're mm -hmm. exactly right. A lot of people just don't have that background. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish there was somebody out there who could like, you know, be aware of all that and vet it for us and create resources that would help, you know? Oh, wait, <laughs> it's you. It's you. Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> That's what I pay me for. That's terrific. Well, um, thank you so much for being on. Uh, and we are really grateful for everything you're doing. And folks, check out what Ellen's doing through the links. And thank you so much for taking this little bit to share about your work. Thanks so much, Adam. Yep. All right, folks, we will see you next time.